Today, I want us to look at some of the Ivy League schools. When I say Ivy Leagues, I'm looking at, uh, or we are looking at, um, the most search or most sought after universities in the world. And, um, these schools mostly are based in the United States. So we have like nine Ivy League schools and today we will start with the first one, which, uh, most people want to, uh, study there. Don't forget that, uh, Students in this school, international students are around 40%, so more than 40% are from, especially the graduate school. That is those who want to do their degree, uh, sorry, their master's and their PhD are international students. So you are not out of it. So uh, you wouldn't say, oh, it's very difficult for me to get admission to these Ivy League schools. No. Um, with a little guidance and coaching, uh, you might get the admission into these uh, universities. Um, the first, as I said, is uh, Princeton University. And we are looking at the uh, international students for the undergraduate and for their graduate courses or admission. P Princeton University, as I said, is the most sought after university worldwide. And the most important thing is that they do most of the basic uh, undergraduate courses, ranging from um, the social sciences, the health related, and those other um, courses that you can uh, think of, the sciences and those things, all of them are there for. Now, as stated here, mostly these universities, some of them have financial aids. And don't forget that the tuition fee for international, uh, for undergraduates is around 40,000 or so pound. I think I can give you that figure here. The tuition fee is quite on the higher side. Uh -huh. The tuition fee is quite on the higher side, but it is, it is manageable. The most important thing is you getting admission. And one thing you shouldn't forget as stated here is that mostly for the undergraduate courses, these are, and as for you as an international student, as you want to do undergraduate, you should have the TOEFL or the IELTS academic or PTE or the SAT or ACT. Don't forget these exams to redo some. Um, and one thing about these universities is that once you get your admission, your visa processing and everything, mostly the student board are there to help you. The international student board are there to help you with the visa application. I'll, I'll continue with the next one in our next video. If anything, too, you can visit our website, actuallinks.com.